Welcome back to another episode of Exploring Whiskeys. I'm Eric. I'm Kevin. <laughs> Today we're we got an interesting one. So officially, we're continuing our 1792 line. This is the mystery bottle. In a weird kind of a way. Mystery distillery. Yes. So this is the Chestnut Farms bottled in bond bourbon. If you try to find a Chestnut Farms bourbon, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> the distillery is Clear Springs Dis Distilling Company in Bardstown. Who's in? Also oh. doesn't really exist. Uh, but if you go on to the website uh, for the Kentucky government for registered. You just got to keep clicking is what you, you're saying. You, <laughs> yeah, I, I had to dig. I had to dig a touch. But when you go in, it says that it's attached to Sazerac, which owns Buffalo Trace and owns 1792. 1792. And 1792 Distillery is in Bardstown. Bardstown. So uh, the long and short is this is a 1792 bottled and bond, but they just don't tell you that. I don't know why. I don't get it. But also interesting, they also provide the bourbon for Costco yep. under the Kirkland label. All right. And then also... Trader Joe's. Yeah, all that comes out of this. The clear Which is none of the stuff we can get here. True, true. Can't get that in Tennessee. But and our Costco and Trader Joe's can only sell wine and beer, beer and wine. So solid. I like. I'm I mean, anxious to try this because uh, we talked before the show. I've had the Kirkland bourbon, and I don't remember it to be that great. But I've heard. <laughs> but I've heard a number of rumors of who. Costco actually sources so and it was you know a friend of mine brought Kirkland bourbon back from California and it was supposed to be Buffalo Trace but it didn't taste like Buffalo Trace it's well and that's the kicker it's Sazerac and most people as soon as they hear Sazerac they think oh well Buffalo, Buffalo Trace, Trace is the bourbon it was not they... Buffalo Trace no <clears throat> but I've had Kirkland vodka and that's Grey Goose so it's allegedly 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 well that's the same thing with Kirkland's golf clubs very similar to a lot of um, Callaway golf clubs. I have their wedge set. Uh huh. <laughs> Very similar to a lot of Callaway golf clubs. If you look at their putter, it looks almost like the Odyssey's, which is Callaway's golf mm -hmm. clubs. But they, you can't find the fact that they're Callaway golf clubs anywhere. <laughs> light. Yeah, it's sweet. Very light, sweet. Not getting the proof off of it. So this is a bottle and bond, uh, and we've done that. The there's, I don't know. We'll call it four main things. It's got to be 100 proof 100 in the proof. bottle. It's got to be a single four. season, single run. Four years. Four, four years, years old minimum. And federally it is, bonded. has to be aged in a federally bonded warehouse. warehouse. Uh, there's also another rule. It has to be in glass. I get light, sweet. There's a caramely, toffee. It's about it. It's not a super complex. It's... It's pretty light. Ooh, a lot of oak. Yeah. Get a lot of oak on the palate. Not It's been a dry. few years since I had that Kirkland bottle, but I'm not going to be able to think that far right. back. But For a comparison? For a comparison, but again, I don't feel like the guys I was drinking with that night said Buffalo Trace. This is not Buffalo Trace. No, this is not Buffalo Trace. Though it doesn't necessarily feel too far away from 1792. <laughs> no. It's not the same, though. It does feel different. But it's not one of those where like, ooh, I don't want that. It's, no, it's oh, not horrible. No, it, it actually, uh, I enjoy the finish. It's not horrible. It's a really sweet finish. Mm -hmm. The um, the oak or barrel or whatever it is kind of comes through right at the beginning and then really goes sweet. I don't get the... You didn't get that? The, no, the 7092 high rye. No, it's way sweeter. Yeah. Maybe this is their sweet wheat. <laughs> Which is their probably their 12-year... Yeah, right. <laughs> the 12 years sweeter than the sweet wheat. That is one question I'm going to ask that guy when we go up there and take a tour. You give it a little uh, swish around, you do start to get a little bit more of the oak and the rye kind of feel, but still not, still real, pretty sweet. We don't know anything, and it doesn't say anything. Outside of the bottle to bond, what we know from bottle to bond, so we know it's at least four years. I'm going to take a wild guess. It's probably not too much older than four years. No, I don't. Actually, I, I'm not, I'm enjoying this. The second <laughs> the second sip. Yeah. I'm going back. I'm, yeah. Yeah. I, I like right. it. It's, I don't care for the bottle. The uh, 
Yeah. It's, it's like we started the Eagle Rare and then put this. It's a very similar to Eagle Rare bottle. Sticker on it. It's a yeah. It's a very similar to an Eagle Rare bottle. And then yeah, they put which a was always my knock at Eagle Rare years ago when it first hit the market. Like, ooh, that just looks like a cheesy bottle, but it's got good. Put product. some stickers on there, but I mean, it's a you know it comes in a box. It's got a nice little box, little little Scotch nod. But yeah, it's more nord towards the Scotch and the Irish whiskeys. Yeah, right. Actually, yeah, I'm I'm actually enjoying this. It's sweet. The nose is really really sweet. I get a lot more oak in the middle of this, and then it kind of finishes pretty sweet. Yeah. I was still getting a lot of corn, caramel, cinnamon. They should, they should just go ahead and create a website. <laughs> not, just so, for our, just, not just for our pleasure, but, I mean, it's not. It's a good bourbon. It's solid. It's a very solid bourbon. They also have a regular. Like, there's just a Chestnut Farms bourbon as well. Not... Not the bottled and bond version. Uh, now I will say I'm enjoying this, but the price point at ninety bucks, I wouldn't pay ninety dollars for that. Yeah, well, the guy I was talking to. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> I was trying to look for something different uh, when I was, I was did. doing I mean, a little shopping, neat. and they're like, "Oh, well, we just got this new bottled and bond bottle. You should, uh, you know, you give it a shot." Around ninety dollars for this? No, it's probably not worth that ninety dollars. Mm-hmm. Uh, if I'm going to compare it up to other whiskeys in the that upper range, it's not there. It is not a Booker's. It is not. It's just like, which is around that same price point. So uh, that would be the knock that I'd have. I, I don't think it's worth the price. So this is seventeen ninety two. Yeah. We're going to get a bottle of 1792 bottle of bond. We're going to find it. Okay. Do a comparison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't think they're the same, but. No, they're not the same, but they're cousins. That's where I'm going to go. Okay. <laughs> they're cousins. There's there's a, a similar note, but this doesn't feel as rye forward no, as a lot of stuff. I don't get any rye. Does. I just get a lot of sweetness off the corn. I mean, yeah, I think maybe the smell kind of comes off a little young, but I don't think the taste does. It's a little young. Yeah, it's a little young. It's a little not overly complex is what the nose comes off. But the flavor, I think the flavor makes up a little bit for the nose. I would be curious what this would be like if they let it sit for a few more. Age it out. A little bit longer. Yeah. Because I think it's good now at four years. But leave it in there for another well, two. Well, I don't know. It, it, it really, it's only minimum of a four minimum, years. But I, I, imagine, I have no idea. But, but given that this is a, they want to probably pump unknown out. of. Yeah, they don't. They're don't, trying no to pump one knows out. who these people are. This yeah. distillery is. I mean, they're gonna try to get something on the market. I imagine it's probably close to four. Yep. A little over four, but I, I think it's pretty good. But I'd be curious to see what it is if they let it sit for a little longer. Getting a little more ethanol like sharpness on the nose. Yeah, so the, the youth does come through on the yeah. nose. I think the youth comes through way more in the nose, nose. than it does in the yep. palate. And we've had that conversation. You either have a good nose, a good palate, or a good finish. <laughs> Most right. whiskeys don't have all three. three. You get two out of three. But if it's a good whiskey if you get two out of three. Yep. I'm going to say they've got a pretty good palate, and their finish isn't bad. Their nose is young. Yep. Yeah, their nose is young. So I, that's definitely a on the nose. <laughs> that's my technical term. Which we've only had a couple that we've had where I'm like, ooh, I can just skip the nose and go straight to the pour. Right. Yeah, I, it's I, not. It's not. It's totally not, turning me off. On yeah, the nose. it's not one of those like, ah, I'm not going to drink this. Put it back because the nose is terrible. The nose is definitely young, but mm-hmm. I think the the palate and the finish the is palate solid, and the finish does come through. Slightly young. younger, but it just for me it's just sweet. Yeah, and then kind yeah. of disappears. Just like, kind of, it's just not ninety bucks. No, half of that, probably. Yeah, which, which puts it, it puts it in the seventeen ninety two, which is where seventeen ninety two is. Yeah, exactly. I think they were just trying to fancy it up with this box. I yeah, I, I kind it's of a feel kern, like that. it's a Colonel Taylor bottle <laughs> in a box. Yeah. 
I <laughs> didn't know. <laughs> no, I'm That's not. what it comes down no, to. I'm not taking a jab at you. They I'm, did. They did uh, their marketing right. They did. Didn't know anything I'm glad about you it. it I, I was I was all over my phone trying to figure out what the hell is it. Couldn't find it anywhere, and I was just like, "Well, all I'm right. glad you bought it because I've never heard of it, and I think it's I think it's actually solid. I would buy it, but not ninety bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not a bad bottle. Mm -mm. It's but it's it's uh, it's not a good value. Mm -mm. That's the way to. It's not it. a value pick. It is not a value pick. taste profile. I think it, it's a. It's solid. solid. I just if I'm going to spend ninety dollars, I'm going to spend it a different different way. That's all. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I'm going to go up and, and spend, you know, either spend a little bit more and get something amazing, spend a little bit less and the hell get a bookers. I mean, it, there's, there's a lot of options in that range you when have. you get up to a couple. Um, <laughs> but even the, I still, <laughs> you need to open that Joseph <laughs> Magnus, but that's a hundred bucks. And I, my understanding is that's really, really good. We'll no, I would be curious to see what would happen with this brand if they actually truly marketed it. Right. Because uh, again, it's a weird the, the, experiment. The taste is—I think it tastes really good. But that's a weird experiment. You're going to start a name. A, you're going to spend money to brand something and send it out. But then you don't spend any dollars on marketing the brand itself. No website. No, no social, social presence. Media. Nothing. I don't understand the experiment. I guess is really what it comes down to. I don't get what they're trying to find out. Well, when we go to 1792, that's another question. Boy, we got a lot of trips to do. <laughs> Our wives are going to love us. They're either coming with us or they're not going to see us. Depending on all the tours we want to do. <laughs> well, it all depends on how we can entertain them while we go and do the tours. That's the... the, the yeah, got to work golf into it, I guess. Yeah. Oh, golf. <laughs> you guys nice go restaurant. shop and yeah, dinner after exactly massage. We can figure this so, out. Something we can figure this out. So, uh, you know what? Again, I, I really do enjoy the flavor profile in this. I just I don't know anything about it and never heard of it until we decided to do it on the show. I would drink it again if I was at a bar or a restaurant and saw it. I would order a pour after having it. I'm hoping that they don't base the price per pour yeah off that off that 90 bucks but no i think it's good i just again i would love to know the backstory of like why is it so secretive right totally agree that's is it I, was just an experiment that they just wanted to kind of keep where it was tied to let's see let's see if it takes off if it takes off then it's like oh by the way yeah it's it, us it's 1792 mm -hmm. but it's a different mash bill something I don't know. I just don't get the. I'm slightly business minded, and I'm trying to think of the <laughs> business model here, and I cannot think of the business model that makes sense to launch and you know try to sell this, other than to suckers like me who just you know will buy a random bottle because that's what I like to do is buy random bottles. I don't get the point. I don't get what you're trying to learn. Yeah, it's just you would think you want the name recognition behind it. Yeah. Because if you're going to go to market, well, I'm just thinking of like those small, you know, small liquor stores. Hey, just went to 1792. This is a new label that they're trying to start. Taste it. If I tasted it, like, ooh, I like the taste. Solid. Solid. Yeah, yeah I'll buy a bottle. But I don't know. It'd be, it'd be curious to see what the, the logic is behind it. But Agreed. But I think overall, it's a solid bottle. Solid bottle. Just slightly not, overpriced. Uh, yeah, now we're ninety bucks. Yep. I'd say half that. Yep. So, but it'd be interesting, to, like I said, to stack that up to the bottle, the seventeen ninety two bottle of Bond, side by side, A and B. A B. Yeah, but I mean, there's so many. That's the kicker is Bob and Bond. Have, there's so many. Like I'm sitting there thinking of I think Old Forester compared to that. Right. Yeah. Old Forester's about half the price. And I love Old Forester. Totally better than that. Mm-hmm. But I just, but we know this is coming from Barton's. Yeah. So let's stack it up to 1792 because I think I don't get any rye out of this at all. It's, I'm, I think it's a, if I'm going to say like, you know, a mash bill, I'm going to say it's, it's probably a sub 10% yeah, rye, no, which is not normal for 1792. There are 20 ish. It was just on my bottle. <laughs> so, 
Well, we'll find another one. We'll find another one. Yeah. It's an unhundred bottle. I'm hoping maybe some of our fans out there, subscribers, fans, fans. I like it. Fans. Have had this bottle. We'd love to hear your review. Hoping you enjoyed the review of this. If you did, we encourage you to swipe that like button, like button at the bottom of the screen. If you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. That would help us out a lot. You can hit the bell icon, get notified every time we put out a new episode. Leave us a comment, let us know if, what do you know? Have you ever heard anything about Chestnut Farms? Um, if not, hopefully we uh, go jam a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now you got some insider info. Keep your interest to try it. Hopefully you find it cheaper than we did. Exactly. So, well, until next time, thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.